Hello everybody, my name is Boyce Fitzgerald and I do stock video and sometimes stock photography. On this channel we look at stock video and stock photography from the eyes of a beginner. I still consider myself a beginner even though I have had some success. Today we're going to look at the difference between commercial and editorial content. First let's look at commercial content. I'll read from the uh, Shutterstock manual. Commercial stock footage is used to monetize, sell, or advertise a particular product, business, person, or service. In most cases, you'll find this kind of footage in feature films, online ads, marketing, commercials, websites, and on television. However, for any footage to qualify for commercial use, it must meet the following requirements. Every person in the footage will have to sign a valid model release form, allowing the end user to license the footage commercially. Any private property, artwork, graffiti, tattoos, trademarks, logos, company names, make this invalid. There can be no visible trademarks, logos, or company names present unless they also have a property release. Here are some tips for shooting commercial footage. Check all clothes for trademarks or logos. Sometimes you'll have a Nike symbol here or uh, the name of the company along your arm or even on the side of the glasses. You'd be surprised. A lot of times I don't see the trademark or the logo until after I've done the filming and I realize that the whole thing has become invalid. Check the room to see if there are any product names. Sometimes I've done I've done uh, clips of my wife cooking and she'll have a product out that'll have the name on it. So look around and find those things. Your appliances will have um, trademarks or logos on them. So you have to make sure that that's covered up or not, at least not in the shot. Check the walls to see if there's any original artwork. Sign releases with the models before you start and get a property release. Sometimes I'll bring extra clothing because I'll realize once we get out there that um, once you get on a shoot that the clothing that has a mark or a symbol or a swish or whatever on it and you have to um, use a different shirt or different shoes. The other thing I've done on a, in a pinch is I've a actually turned the, uh, the shirt inside out and filmed it that way. So sometimes I've had to do a total shoot over again because I found a trademark later. Another thing you can do is use a shallow depth of field so that uh, things in the background are blurry so that if there is artwork or people walking by or somebody in the distance that they're blurred, they're not in, the, um, they're not in focus in the shot anymore. And that, that's the best way to uh, manage or handle a uh, commercial shoot. Let's talk about editorial. Editorial stock footage is usually sold to news outlets, broadcasters, or individual bloggers and journalists. Editorial is typically used to educate an audience or document a newsworthy story. It often involves no staging or direction from the videographer and should not be altered in post-production. You can, of course, crop it or and color grade it and such, but you can't add information that's not there at the time that you shot it. It has to be like a documentary or a news story. It cannot be manipulated. For example, if there is a protest march, that is a good thing. That, that right there, a protest, a demonstration, a political rally, those are good things for stock video, for editorial content. But when you do it, you have to make sure that you're filming what was actually there and what happened. You can't add things later. You can't put banners up that, did, that weren't there. You can't change anything. The footage might be a little bit rough. Uh, it Generally, editorial should have the same uh, requirements uh, for, for quality as commercial. The exception is that if you're out shooting a news event and uh, you're doing handheld camera and, and you get bumped or jostled because you're in a crowd, that would be acceptable. But otherwise, it needs to be the basic same um, quality requirements. Here's some tips when shooting editorial. Make sure you document where you are, when you were there, what time it was, the date, who, what, when, where, how. All those questions need to be answered and will be required when you fill out the editorial content form. 
in black box or if you're doing on Shutterstock or anywhere, you'll select a box if it's editorial and it follows a prescriptive uh, description. It goes, um, if you're in the United States, city, state, country, date, and then a short description. If you're not in the United States, it will be the city, country, date, and a short description. So here's some questions I've had before. Um, animals. Uh, animals are not people. Animals don't have the same rights to privacy. You don't need a release for animals. Even if the animal is owned by someone else and considered their property, you don't need a release for any animals. There are a few exceptions to this, but those are so rare that um, basically if it's a famous animal and that animal uh, is makes money for the person who owns it in a, in a commercial way, uh, it's a famous dog that's on a TV show or something like that, then you need a release. But that is so rare that it's not even worth thinking about. Basically, animals don't require property releases or releases of any kind. Another question that comes up is when you're shooting, for example, uh, a city skyline, how can you possibly get property releases for all the properties that are shown? Or you're doing a drone flyover, how can you poss possibly get property images? Those things can still be commercial as long as there's no trademarks or logos shown. How can they be commercial? Well, if you're filming three or more properties and none of those properties is the specific focus of your content, then you don't need a property release. It's just considered you're shooting uh, the environment. So you want to make sure that you're not highlighting any specific property as the subject of that clip. If you're orbiting around a specific house or building, church for example, like in a wedding video, uh, that property would be highlighted. That's the subject of the clip. And so then you would need a property release. Let's now look at some examples of what is commercial and what is editorial and the difference while you're keywording. Okay, here we're going to go through some clips that have sold and I'll show you some examples of editorial and commercial just to kind of help understand the difference. This first one right here, this one just sold. Uh, November 25th. Today's November 26th, so it just sold yesterday. This one is um, editorial for a number of reasons. It's got people in it, and it's got this car driving by, this van driving by with the Mercedes logo and license plate number. So this one has to be um, editorial. Is it useful? Yes, it's useful for one reason. Uh, it's quite obvious because it's sold. But also, this is an establishing shot. It's a favela in Brazil. A, um, a poor part of town. So anytime this is going to be in the news or somebody wants to use this for editorial reasons, they can buy it. It's, uh, it's a good establishing shot. Um, here is one <clears throat> that is commercial. Uh, and you don't need any releases at all. You don't need a, a model release and you don't need a property release. If you want to attach a model release, even though it just shows their hands, that could be helpful. Some people might like that as a uh, just a surety that that nothing uh, there'll be no problems if they use it. But you don't need a model release. There are no logos. There's no trademarks. No marks on the shoe or the clothing at all. That one is definitely um, commercial. Do you need a property release for a animal? You do not. This one is, can be done as commercial. This has to be done as editorial uh, because of the people in it. Um, and uh, this is uh, indigenous people in Brazil at a demonstration. Demonstrations, political rallies, um, rioting, anything like that is good. Here is one that obviously also has to be editorial. It's got UNICEF here. It's got all these kids. They have logos all over their clothes. It has to be commercial. Is this newsworthy? Yes, these are refugee children. This is going to school in a tent. Um, and so anytime refugees are in the news, somebody may buy that clip. Here's one that is commercial. You do not need property releases because there are more than three properties. The people down here are not 
recognizable and um, you're not focused on any specific property you're just doing a general uh, landscape so that can be sold as commercial here's one <clears throat> that my friend in Thailand uh, catwalk Jade did um, it sold and he's got a model release for the two people in it you don't really need a uh, property release for this one he set up a studio with a background in it it's not recognizable I don't know he may have attached a a uh, property release but it's not needed you just need two model releases if you could tell for sure what kind of tablet this was if it had the Apple logo or or Microsoft logo or something on it that would ruin the whole thing or if the titles of any of these law books were visible or the authors that would change the uh, nature of this but he was very careful as you can see to set up that concept uh, here's one of a guy at an event going down um, in some type of uh, crazy thing they do in Norway okay this has to be editorial for obvious reasons but it is something that could be newsworthy or show about the culture, uh, the climate, any number of things that could be good for. And lastly, we'll do one of my wife reading a book on the um, deck. Uh, I got a property release for the house because it's our house and a property release for my wife as the model. And that can be sold 100% as commercial. You see there's no... Logos anywhere on her clothes, no trademarks, nothing on the tablet that you can see. So um, that's a good, another good example. And we'll do one last one. This is a good one. You see the pagoda sign up here. You can also see people that could be recognizable. This one is done as commercial. Excuse me. This one is done as editorial, and it has to be editorial. Um, why would somebody buy this? Maybe this bus stop is in the news. Maybe there's some, uh, everybody's wearing face masks, so there's something about public transportation and COVID. There's any, uh, this could be just an establishing shot for Seoul, Korea. So for all of those reasons, this is a very good type of clip to upload, even though it is editorial. If the people were a little further away and none of the, and the pagoda sign was not available, you could try to do that one as, uh, as commercial. If I'm not sure whether it should be commercial or editorial, I'd, I'll generally do it as editorial. And sometimes the stock agencies will strip that designation off and market it as commercial, even though I uploaded it that way. So I just kind of put it in their hands. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you have any ideas of things you want me to do uh, videos about in the future, I would be happy to entertain those ideas and uh, consider liking and subscribing. Have a nice day.